Okay. So it's the second segment of the wine challenge. I'm here in central Hong Kong, Watson Wine, with buyer Jeremy Stockman. And Jeremy, what are we tasting now then? We're now moving on to Australian wines from three distinct regions. And you're, as I know, a great Australian uh, specialist, so we should be tasting some interesting wines. A great supporter. Okay, having tasted New Zealand Pinot Noir, now we now move to an Australian Pinot Noir to show that Australia, hopefully show that Australia can make a good Pinot as well. Well, you believe it. I mean, honestly, that's the big debate for me. New Zealand or Australia? Mm -hmm. I think Australia makes some fabulous Pinot Noirs yeah, as well. And, and people think, forget. Yes, and Australians are learning to put the right varieties in the right places. Mm. Well, right away, this wine has, it's very Burgundian in, in the nose. It has this sort of uh, earthy, leafy, yeah. even some sweet tobacco, tea leaf, all the sort of classic things you get. Some damp forest yeah. flower in there. Yes. Mm. What I like about this wine, you get this sort of dried fruit mm. impact. And then it's very subtle, but the finish. Mm. It's got a lovely sweetness that comes yeah. through at the end. For example, in the New Zealand tasting, the New Zealand Pinots had much more fruit at the beginning in the palate. This is the finish. Yeah. Lovely texture. Like the nose, too. Mm. Nice use of wood. Screw cap, of course. Australians yes. are big screw cap fans. I think Australians just got fed up with bad corks. You're right. Yeah, I really like the, the balance to it, the intensity, the dried fruits, so much going on here. I'm, let's see, I'm 92 on that. It's a lovely wine. Let's see what it is. A great winemaker. It's from Steve Weber. All right. Hey, 2011. Been there. Yeah, Beautiful Valley. vineyards. You know, yes. I'm always a big fan yeah. of this wine. Yeah. A great producer. And how much is it? 268. Whoa. So it's... It's about half the limit of 500. That's amazing. Australians really can pull off yeah. great wines for a great value. That's a great wine for the price. Amazing. All right, let's try the second one. Okay. I remember I liked the 2010 too. Is 11 better year than 10 for you in Australia? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's hard to say at the moment. I've not seen too many 2011s yet, but the ones I've seen are very yeah. exciting. Of course, it's hard to generalize when you're talking about a continent yes. and yes. you have so many different uh, soils and climates. And the difference from the Hunter Valley to Margaret River is it's enormous, several mm. thousand kilometers. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. So now we're on Shiraz. Oh, Indeed, well. we are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You can smell that pepper, yeah. Yeah. meat. Yeah. Beautiful. But that new wave of. Shiraz from Australia. Yeah, not the jam juice. Yeah. More the rum Syrah style. It's so peppery, just mm. crushed black pepper mm. with some raspberries. Yes. Northern Rhone, yes. you're thinking, like Hermitage yes. or yes. Saint Joseph or Crows. Yeah. More than the Cote Roti style, which has more of that gamey character. And the maker of this does seek that style. Mm. Whoa, it's so good. Crunchy acidity, lovely pepper. Yeah, that's there. a great way to, well, you say crunchy, I say creamy, but it's mm. that same sort of thing, yeah. that texture yeah. from the acidity. And then the fruit, and there's a minerality mm. to it. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking Hermitage in France, but it has a sort of flintiness or yeah, something. Yeah, it does, and a great vibrancy to it. Mm. Wow, that's great, let me see what I gave that. I'm 92 on that as well. I love this wine. Delicious one. I can't wait to see what it is. It is from our friends at Clonakilla. Oh, I love, that's, that's cool. Is, and this is a great buy too, no? Yeah, this is the Oriada Shiraz, which uh, is Canberra District from Warren mm -hmm. Bateman, which mm -hmm. is actually New South Wales, but Canberra District. And it is f uh, $428. Wow, serious stuff. Yeah. So they also make great uh, Riesling, no? They do. Yeah. Canberra Riesling, Viognier, and Syrah. Great stuff. Again, screw cap. This is really, really classy wine. This top wine is now, which is over $500, is yeah. now considered one of the great Shirazes of Australia. And, and people really should try something like this to understand yeah. 
that it's not about big, heavy, high alcohol wine Shiraz in Australia. No, it's about this. Yeah, you don't need 15% alcohol from some of the warmer regions. No. You can make Shiraz that's balanced and right. Great okay. stuff. Mm. Great. So far, again, hitting on all cylinders. 292 pointers. Okay, let's try the last okay, one. Okay, and the last one. This one's a blend. This is the classic Australian brand of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz. And it's from Kunawara. You can, what is that about Kunawara? Always there's a mintiness to yes. it, or eucalyptus, yes. right? Yes, it's absolutely. just always. I think the more research they do on that, the more it is related to the eucalypt trees of the region. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, the, That's the, one reason I haven't been yeah. to yet in Australia, but I hope to get the, there. The oil that comes off of the eucalypt leaves, is you can smell it in the summer there. And so it, it's, it's in the region. Mm. Very intense. Mm. It almost reminds me of old, of old California wine, like Heights uh, Martha's Vineyard or something, because of that intense eucalyptus mm. mint character. Yeah. But I like the texture yes. of it too. It's it's a little bit more tight. It's tightly wound compared to the other wines. Yes. And then there's this lovely round texture to it. Mm. But again, it's not overdone. Yeah, it's you know? denser, but it's not. Yeah, dirty. it's really Isn't it? lovely balance. Very much a food wine. Fascinating. And this is two thousand and four. So and you get the currants, blackberries. Yeah. yeah. It's almost a cat. Is there more cabinet than Shiraz? Yes, do you know? It is. Okay, you I'm, get that. I, I think it's about sixty forty, but it's certainly cabinet on And then you get some nice smokiness. Let's see. Mm. And very fresh is an eight-year-old wine already. Wow. Oh, okay, that's it. Mm. I was wondering why it had that softness. Yes. It's totally ready for drinking. Yeah. Eight-year-old. Yeah. It needs eight. Oh, four is a very good vintage in Kudawara, um, but it needs time. But is that something you, that Watson's aged, or yes. is it released late? Yeah. They released this wine later, but they released this wine about four years ago, so we've aged it. Wow. Mm. Okay, I'm 93 on this. Because also the value factor in the yes. sense that it's eight years old, it's perfect for drinking. I think you should probably decant it before. Yes. Yes. What a beautiful wine. Yeah. Not a screw cap. No, no, I think it's related to the bottle shape. So it's $498 and it's from Magella from Prof Lynn. Oh, sure, of course. And it's the Malia. Beautiful which is their wine. Top wine. Interesting, wow. they make a ca straight Cabernet, a straight Shiraz, but this is their top wine. And so what's the really, price? Really believe in it, in the blend. $498. Just that. Just makes it. <laughs> Well, that was the top wine. Great tasting. Really fascinating. It shows the, the breadth of Australian wine. I think. Absolutely. Mm. And the, and the new, new wave of Australian wines, yes. the balanced, yes. drinkable, real Aussie wines. Yeah, real Aussie wines.